howdy folks and uh, <laughs> another crazy episode okay the here's the deal uh, they've sent me another laser so we're going to take a look at it. this is a middle of the road laser engraver cutter machine but they sent me the accessories for it as well so I've got a lot here to take in and I guess we'll quickly just go through uh, some sort of, you know, we'll just open these boxes, get this. This thing should take about a half an hour to put together roughly, for, even for most anybody, not just, I have assembled quite a few of these machines now. So it's kind of a no brainer, but it still takes uh, a good half hour, or whatever, to be careful, put everything together right, and get it set up so we can, you know, do some engraving, laser and wood cutting. And we're gonna do some different stuff I believe today. So the first thing uh, I got to thank uh, Leah over there at uh, Made the Best. They sent all this over to me to check it all out, do a review and say, hey, you know, this is classified among the the crowd out there with lasers. This is the, or we're going to call it the middle of the road. It's not a bottom cheap economy kind of a laser, but it's also not the top expensive, you know, pro models or something that are out there. So this one fits nicely in that sort of mid-range market and it offers, you know, all the features of what looks like a professional machine, but at a, re re you know, a reasonable price. Uh, Ortor is uh, the name of the company here and they've made some, in fact, we've done one of their lasers uh, months ago and uh, we gave it away. I can't remember who won it, but he's got it now. And it was a small one. This one is the bigger machine. And the first thing I wanted to show you before we get into these boxes was this box was already open. I can't do open box, oops, you know. But uh, they sent me, this is part of the deal, they sent me this nice package right here. This is a work surface for a laser and it's honeycombed aluminum with an aluminum, let's see where we did that, with an aluminum back plate. And with the aluminum black back plate, and the honeycombing, uh, it protects all the work surface underneath that so you can, you know, comfortably work with your laser without destroying or tearing up a table underneath or causing, you know, a problem. And also it helps to dissipate heat away from the, the area. So the honeycomb thing is really cool. And now we have the main laser, it's unit itself in the box here, so I haven't opened it yet, but we'll get to that in a second. And also have the, uh, mystery box. I think this is another laser head, but I'm not really sure. Uh, and then the other thing I have here that they sent over, I believe this should be, yeah, this should be, I believe the roller system for when you're doing uh, round things. So we got to get into all this. So let's, let's get all this out of the way and let's open the box for the laser master two S two. And we'll get this and take a look. We'll lay it on the table, take a look at what we have, and then let's get it assembled. Let's let's get let's get some work going. Oh yeah. In case I forget, there will be links provided for everything that's shown today uh, in the description below. So if you if you click on show more, uh, you will see the links for uh, the various pieces here to the outer. Now let's see. Okay, we get the box open. <clears throat> That was pretty bad. Let's try that again. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how much stuff they can pack in these little boxes. Now, okay, here we go. Oh yes, and a pile of paperwork, manuals, and instructions, and it looks like we've got some interesting stuff here. I wonder, if, ah, we'll get into that. Also, how to set up the laser, of course, how to use the focal gauge of the the board, righty, right on, right on, right on. Okay, and we've got this, the usual thing, the safety glasses. Let's get all this out of here and spread it out so you guys can have a look at it. Okay, so we've got the, uh, this is what was, you know, what's in the box thing. So there, again, the safety goggles, USB cable, power supply, a control package, which we'll tie into for the, uh, from the power supply in order to run the laser. The laser itself, four pieces of rail, two front, two, two side. And I've got, looks like some feet here. Oh, yes, and of course the uh, drive belt, which we'll need to hook up to that will drive this back and forth across these. And also, I guess this the little feet, yep, the feet. And so the only other thing I'm looking for here would be the screws to attach the feet with, which there they are, yep, right there. And they, you know, they it's nice they, they always include the tools, like the little wrenches and stuff that you can use to help deal with everything here. And also the laser gauge that'll help to uh, set the depth of the laser up for where the focal point is of where the laser is actually doing the work. So 
that's that that's box number one <laughs> and I guess we'll call that box number two really because this here uh, the honeycomb thing was kind of box number one but uh, yeah <clears throat> now what else did we get well we have a box here box number four is the little roller this is actually for doing something engraving something around like on a, a drum or a glass or a tumbler or something like that which we will be doing a little bit later i got to put all this together this looks like it'll take longer than that but uh you know <laughs> the nature of the beast right okay so let's put this uh the main laser pieces together and get the laser mounted and stuff so we're ready to do something all right so I've uh, put it together and we've started our first little project here. I'm just doing a, a quick test print of the old Jurassic Park um, head of a dinosaur just to get an idea to see how things are working. And I've uh, set the laser to, uh, on 80% at 3000 millimeters per minute, which is uh, relatively slow, I guess. And we'll just try that for, like I said, just, just trying for a test to, to start up. The assembly took me about an hour with, uh, and then I went and had lunch. So it was, it's been a couple hours since uh, we, we stopped and we came back to this. Okay, that was, uh, whoo, that was 80%. Uh, there was, uh, there was smoke coming out of that one. <laughs> but yeah, it, well, that was just a test. But, she's pretty warm she's running a little hot yeah i could have backed that down easily probably about 40 percent of the laser or something so the otur why would you go out and buy this one okay that's you know that's really the question isn't it if you're going to look at engraving machines you can look at prices and features but uh this one here is kind of a no frills it is and it isn't because it does have hard limits which uh, there are some cheaper machines out there that don't have hard limits and I I you know I'm sort of 50 50 on the hard limit thing I do like having the hard limit for home location so it'll come over here park itself when it's you know not in use uh, I just ran off of something a little bit larger just just you know again for examples and this again is just a 80 percent and just a quick you know this was actually uh, 6,000 millimeters per minute uh, so it was at high speed just one pass and it just burnt that into the uh, plywood so again you can see how well it does but let's talk about what the deal is here well first off you look at the control package it's pretty bare bones it really is uh, you plug into a computer a uh, hardtop desktop laptop whatever and so you're going to need something like a laptop to run this machine obviously it's not going to run on its own there's no uh, USB or even a USB micro nothing like that so it's all off this uh, USB cable that's it that's that's all there is and then you have a, a you know pretty basic power supply so the downside is this machine is bare bones enough that it doesn't have a great big fancy you know uh, LED control panel or anything like that but you're saving money because you're paying less for the machine obviously you're buying it at a lot better you know discounted price size wise she's in that 400 uh, millimeter by 400 millimeter or almost about 16 inch by 16 inch kind of work surface area so you can do fairly large projects which that's really the thing about you know the price versus the machine uh it does like and like i said it, uh you you have to look at the no frill side of it to what you want i guess if you want to spend six seven hundred a thousand dollars and get a nice display machine something like that that's great but if you're trying to get into this and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you're looking for something that will just run basic off of like a laptop computer like i've got set up here this machine will save you a bunch of money and it'll give you all the features and everything that you're going to get out of that expensive machine we just had one in here a few weeks ago that was uh the manufacturer's suggested retail price was around 650 dollars and it came with a you know a screen this one has nothing so it's just very like I say it's it just it's geared to run directly off a computer the laser the laser is a diode five watt laser it is the same thing you're going to pay for that 650 dollars machine and again you're going to spend a lot less but you have a full five watt you know diode laser that's going to do the job plus it can cut plywood for projects so there's really nothing spectacular uh going on here it's just you're getting a large machine for very little money but you're giving up certain things such as you don't have the big pretty face thing you've got some wires hanging out here and stuff that i'm not fussy on but again like i say this is kind of you know 
bare bones, but offers kind of the middle of the road features for an engraving machine and or cutting plywood machine. So it's really nothing wrong. Uh, and I'm gonna provide links for especially this because I know I wanted this from day one. Very first engraving laser came in here. I wanted this uh, worktop and I'm so, it's so nice to have this right now because you don't have to worry about the table or anything underneath it. You can put your work up here, set your laser height, dial it in. It's a real easy uh, dial in on this one. This one here had, is, is a newer, uh, I guess a newer feature, I don't know. It's got the magnetic uh, protection piece here that just magnetically goes up underneath and, and clips into the laser into position. So, and this red of course helps to protect your eyes, but you still need to wear, you still need to have those goggles because, you know, it's a laser. Now, there's a couple of problems that I do see, and I guess my number one complaint would be right now, theoretically, this thing is on. And there's no way to know it's on because there's no light indicator, say, that little, little, you know, light or something like that to tell you that the thing is powered up. The only way you'd know it was powered up is if you hold this uh, power button for about five seconds. Yeah, and you see this coming over to the home location or immediately to the limits. That tells you right there, okay, the power is on. You know, otherwise, I hate to say it, but that's the only, I guess the only fault I can find in the machine is there's just no light to indicate that something's going on. Okay, so uh, what we're going to be dealing with right now was going to be this la this box right before we hit the rotary. And that's this piece here, which normally would bolt up here to help you adjust your laser, especially when you're getting into rotary. And in this case, we can't use this. It will not bolt to this machine. Uh, the gang over there sent this to me thinking it might work with the uh, Auteur, and it should, but it does not work with this particular model by the looks of it. So we're gonna have to set that aside, and we're gonna go straight to the rotary. Now, I'm gonna give you links for the assembly for this machine to where you can watch the video to you know, see how to put this together. I'm also gonna give you a link to show you how to put the rotary together because the rotary comes all apart in pieces and probably take you, oh, it'll probably take you, I'm gonna say at least about an hour to put this together for the rotary part of this. So we're gonna put this together and then we'll get set up for using the rotary. All right, when we come back. About a, uh, oh, Welcome back, yeah, poof, just like that, there we go. This took longer to assemble, I was very careful about it, compared with the machine. This actually took longer, <laughs> there's not that much to it, but it just was a little bit of a funky pile of nuts and bolts and you sort of have to figure out how to do it. Now, there is some features here that can go on the ends if you have to support like a wine glass with a thin stem on this end or something, but for our purposes, uh, what I'm gonna do today is just straight cylinder type uh, engraved. So we don't need, we don't even want the, the accessories that would go on this end. These are adjustable too this way. So you can close this in or widen it out a little bit if you need to, depending on again, what you're engraving. The next problem is the height of the machine. Now the machine has to be, we're gonna have to get some spacers which are not provided and we're gonna have to space the machine way up in the air to get over top of this to do the type of cylinder that I want to engrave. And to, to figure this all out, I'm gonna put the cylinder, which here's a good sample on top, and we're gonna to have to measure the laser to this, the height difference, to figure it out. And then I'm gonna to have to, I guess, cut some blocks of wood because I don't have anything somebody was using coffee cans that's i like that that's not a bad idea i like coffee cans you know so in order to uh steal a good idea here uh somebody uh, had mentioned putting them on top of uh five four of these uh coffee cans maxwell house so yeah and it's the uh let's see what do we got here okay it's the one pound size or no one pound 12 ounce or 28 28 ounce uh size so we're gonna take four of these and put the laser machine hump on top of four coffee cans in order to get the height we need for this. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. let's see. The uh, coffee cans were almost a little too high, so I actually ended up putting some old pieces of hardwood flooring underneath the roller in order to bring the roller back up so that we could have enough so we'd be able to adjust it. Now, I've already tuned the laser focal length to the cylinder and I've covered it with blue tape. We're gonna turn the laser way down and we're just gonna mark the blue tape 
just as a test this would be the best way to do it and not just try to go ahead and engrave something when all you know everything can possibly go wrong so this is a good way to test it and just see if it's working and the laser will be cranked way down on power so that you know it'll just mark here okay so this is where we're at we've spent quite a bit of time on this one actually this is uh, day three of, of messing with the software which has really nothing to do with anybody whoever makes a laser it doesn't matter we're, we're dealing with light burn and light burns pretty sophisticated software and so there's quite a bit of issues here to deal with when you're doing something like this where you're using the roller uh, one of the things I wanted to mention too was the cable management is really good on this machine I'm pretty happy with it it's better than you know some of the stuff I've seen this one comes bare bones, but you can add uh, an SD card reader. You can get a remote uh, controller that, that will plug in. Also the roller, of course, and of course this little item right here, which I really like, because uh, this will also prevent having a house fire or something you know, getting carried away. So it's a real nice little safety feature for any, again, any laser. The overall look is that it's at an, it's at an economical price. Now, I'm gonna give you a link for a fellow who will show you how to do the software end of running the roller. He's really good, he's over in Louisiana, and he goes over this really carefully to show you how to set this roller up. In fact, it's the Ortur roller system that he uses to indicate how to do this. Right now, I've got this stepper motor here on the side disconnected and it's plugged into our roller, so the roller will run and then of course the head of the laser will run and that's part of the setup but uh, there's a lot more involved and I, I don't want to spend you know another half a day with you trying to explain how to set this part portion up I just really wanted to review and take a look at the whole thing it's really for the price it's 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 a good machine you know it's 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 a solid company name or tur so it's like yeah you know they they do quite a bit in these uh, lasers and in, engravers so Overall, I think we got a pretty good picture here of what's going on. You can accessorize this quite a bit, and Ortur uh, is offering quite a few different accessories that you can add to it. The plate thing we checked this over with uh, another fella, and apparently there's different models, and this particular model has a plate that will not fit to that one adjustment uh, piece that I wanted to add on there to, to show you how it worked. And like I said, I can't, it won't go on, so I was like, eh, okay, we'll move on not a big deal but we're going to close the show out at this point thank you for watching coffee and tools i'm going to give you links for setting this up for how to build this how to put it together and how to have all of it and i'm also going to give you links for two different links for purchasing this machine because one is a lot cheaper than the other uh through the uh, made the best you can get a really good discount situation with the price so i'm going to give you links for both so you can see what you know amazon has it for but i'm also going to give you a link for made the best which will the shipping might take longer but at the same time you're going to get a much better price for this particular uh, machine what a great thing and again thanks to leah for sending this over to us so we could uh, check it all out and review it right now we got to pack this up because i have got a lot of other stuff that we need to get to so guys girls ha, over and out <laughs>